Hi, Adrian here from Kingston Yacht Sales, brought to you by United City Yachts. We are Canada's Yacht Sales Network. Today I'm going to showcase a 2003 Sea Ray 360. Now before we get started, I just want to remind you that this is a 360 virtual video. That means you don't have to look at me the whole time. If you're on your smart device or your tablet, just use your finger and you can scroll around, zoom in, zoom out, look at different parts of the boat as I'm talking to you. If you're at home on your desktop, just use your mouse, grab the screen, drag it along and you can look at different parts as we're going. So 360 video. So 2003 Sea Ray 360. I have a really good friend that owned one of these boats. He bought some bigger Cruisers 42s. He's had all sorts of different boats and still to this day I will say to him, what's your favorite boat that you own? He will always go back to that 360 Sea Ray. He just loved that boat and you can see why. If you take a look at this boat for the money, all around this boat is really truly offering you everything. Let's take a tour through. Take a look at the cockpit seating. This area is absolutely massive. This is a full beam boat where there is a lot of room for seating. There is a, just an absolute ton of space on here. Same thing, the big back bench. This boat has the uh, full camper top enclosure. It's in excellent shape. All the ice and glass is very clean and clear. Taking a look at the wet bar along the side. We'll open this up, we'll see a Norcold uh, refrigerator there. I'm going to bring you up and show you the helm. Nice clean cockpit carpets. Uh, it, this boat is showing really truly very very well, it's looking very good. Uh, I'll bring you up to the helm here, and it's that typical Sea Ray helm that you find. Although the owner of this boat has upgraded two marine hybrid uh, chart plotters. Very nice feature in here. It does have the typical Sea Ray shifters and the throttles on this side. It does have the smart craft which is really nice. Then your array of buttons up here, one for the power vent, of course on this side it's going to control that electric windlass up front. Uh, you're also going to have the controls for the search spotlight here. A uh, little bit of storage down to the sides and the nice seating with a bench seat, still lots of room for somebody else uh, to sit and join you while you're driving. Uh, the boat is powered with uh, the 8.1's closed cooling, the Horizons, um, with, uh, uh, with V-Drive so you have the props and shafts straight out the bottom of this boat. Uh, I'm going to take you down below. Uh, condition of this is amazing. For 2003, really, there's no cracks in this at all. There's no cracks in the dash. The eyes and glass is great. This boat is a real pleasure to show. Let me take you down below here, and I'll show you the interior. Bear with me as I bring you down. We're just getting ready to put this boat in storage for the year, but it's still nice and clean and showing well. It's got the snap-in carpets. Now we compare these boats, of course, you'll, you'll be looking at something like a 320 or a 340, and I will tell you, this boat is a big step up from those. There is a lot more beam, there's more length in this boat, and the big features that you're going to notice between those ones is we get into here into the, uh, the hard doors that actually separate the cabin here, give you an actual real cabin uh, that's separated if you have guests staying down below. That's a very nice feature. Looking forward, you're going to see it is a queen berth. You can jump up on both sides. There's a new TV up here, uh, so there's lots of room up here with some space to stand here and get changed hanging closet off here to the side. Uh, TV's been upgraded. Taking a look at the galley, and one of the big step ups from the 340s is going to be the dual um, fridge uh, freezer units here. This is really nice when you're out weekend cruising. Just gives you that, that extra bit of refrigeration that sometimes we hear people say would be nice uh, in, these, in this size 340s. Nice big sink. Range top here, the electric range top. Uh, your galley lights, storage all along here. Flipping you around, the upholstery in this boat is in excellent shape. Uh, nice big seating area, uh, and then of course, if you spin around and look behind you, what you're going to see is the uh, the aft cabin there that does have the curtain for separation. You can also slide that berth out, of course, right? The bench sheet slides out, the cushions come to fill in there, and you get your full double berth. Lots of cabinetry along here for storage, and all of this, all of this is in great shape. Like there's no peeling, there's no fogging of it. It really does show very well. The countertops are looking nice, and one of the great features too, of course, is if you spin yourself around, nice big head on this boat. Uh, you can take a look at some of the 360 photos we have, which we'll show you a little bit more in here. But it does have you know, the fixed shower head, the big curtain that slides all the way across here. Uh, just a lot of room when you're in there, uh, so it's a very comfortable head in this boat. So really, it's a nice step up for someone who has a 320 or a 340.